We've been pro-marriage to the exclusion of honoring singleness. We live in a culture that is sex obsessed. With the apps, I think they can be quite addictive. Like a marriage is like a rite of passage and I feel in the West we don't really have them anymore. We have kind of marriage, we have births, engagements. So if you're not passing those thresholds, you don't get celebrated like Baz was saying. Oh, Nicole's single and they'll just think of any person they know. Like, I know this guy, here you go. And I'm just like, hey, I got standards, man. <laughs> you are like, just pull some brother off the street. Like, I just, you know? The more we talk about it, the more we just acknowledge that there are challenges, there are opportunities. It doesn't have to be seen as, oh, poor you, you're single. When I look at the Bible, I think the theology says that Jesus is the end goal and marriage or singleness or kids or job can be part of the narrative, but they're not the end. He's the end. And so I think it puts a lot of pressure then on the search for a partner, like the search for that kind of intimacy because you can't have it if you're married. And so, you know, it just, I think it leaves this question in the church and in the culture. If you are single, can you actually be satisfied in life?